friends. Um, today's Bible story comes from Mark 10, and it, we're going to talk about the portion about the rich man. So as he was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before Jesus and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and mother. He said to him, teacher, I have kept all those since my youth. Jesus looked at him, loved him, and said, you lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and then come and follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked, and he went away grieving. Where he had many possessions. So what that means is that he was a very rich man and he had a lot of stuff and he was pretty attached to that stuff. He wasn't a bad person. Uh, Jesus said he was a good person. He had followed the commandments. He'd done good things, but he wanted to know how he could have eternal life. And I think in this case, he wanted to know how he could be a disciple. And Jesus said, You've done all those things, but you need to do this one last thing. Can you do this one last thing? Because many of Jesus' disciples, they did give up. They gave up a lot of their possessions. They gave up sometimes their families, and they followed Jesus. And that was a thing that you could only do, really, when Jesus was here. We, we still follow him, but we couldn't actually be part of his earthly ministry. So today's story comes from this book. It's called The Rainbow Fish. It's by Marcus Pfister. And it's a little bit about what happens when we share what we have. So a long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, but not just an ordinary fish. He was the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. He was very pretty. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened, and from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, sh dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find a wise octopus. Maybe she can help. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. There she is. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story, and this is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. And there she is. I can't, said the rainbow fish, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales. Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. So the rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. And for a long time, he watched a little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with a scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. 
everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scale to and left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. We could all have a shiny scale. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join all his friends. Yeah. So the rainbow fish gave away the thought, the things that he thought he prized the most, and he found out that he didn't actually prize his scales as much as he thought, but he did prize friendship. And with the rich man, it's not quite like that, but it is it is a lot like that. The rich man was asked to give up something that he thought was very precious to him, and we don't know what happened after that. Maybe he did, and maybe he didn't. But he did go away from Jesus very sad. Because it's hard to give things up. It's hard to give up things that we think are special. But sometimes that sharing can be really special, and it can help us to feel good. So I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you share something. And I'll see you again next week.